All right, my interpretation of Damini is done. Welcome back to another episode of Bronze Age Minecraft, a series where we set out to recreate the Bronze Age settlements of ancient Greece. My name is Daskalos and I'm a professional archaeologist and certified interpretive guide. So last episode, we gave ourselves three goals. Now I really hope you'll join me on the next episode because we're going to be moving the villagers up here, plus a little more terraforming and probably building a dock with some boats. So it's about time we get to it. So goal number one is to move the villagers up into Domini. Now I plan on accomplishing this by just simply moving their beds from the houses up into Domini and I might have to move their job blocks as well, we'll see. But once they've been moved, I'm going to go ahead and take down all of the houses of the village since they won't be needing them at that point. Second goal is terraforming the hill. Without the villages on the sides of the hill, it might look a little weird, so I'm going to go through and terraform it. With that being said, we're going to do something special with the farms and the farmers, but I'll talk more about that when we get to it. And the final thing, goal number three, is to create some boats in the harbor. Now that's a lot of stuff, so let's not waste any time, and let's get right into it. What the f- No. No. How? No. Yeah. How? Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Alright, so step one is taken care of. All of the villagers are up in Domini. To do that, I took their beds from the houses along the hill and put them up inside the various buildings in Domini. They all just kind of went with it. Uh, I also made a few more beds so the village can prosper and grow in the future. Now you just saw that I took down the buildings along the hill, and I plan on using the wood from that for step three. But before we get to that, we need to do step two, terraforming. So let's do it. Come on, do it. Do it! Okay, okay, geez. Awfully intense. Many hours later. Alright, step two is done, and it took over five hours to do that terraforming. 
Now, I'd show you the time lapse, but it's boring. It's just totally boring. Anyways, yeah, in the future, if we need to do any terraforming, no. Just, just no, okay? Well, all right, maybe minimal terraforming, but dang, that was long and tedious. So here's a before and after shot. That was a little more epic than it needed to be. Anyways, looks much nicer now, and nothing too crazy happened while doing the terraforming. Except... well, except for this. Hello, motherfucker. You f Anyways, with that long job done, we can finally move on to the little surprise about the farms and farmers. You see, Greece doesn't have a lot of farmland, though in Thessaly it has a lot more usable land for farming. But the way the ancient people capitalized on what little area they had was by terracing the hillsides. If you terrace the hillsides, you can boost the amount of usable land to grow food. This terracing is actually still visible in some areas even today. Now that step two is done, we can move on to something a little more creative. Step number three, boats. Uh, we're going to put some boats in the harbor and I'm going to use the wood from the houses that I took down earlier. So let's get into it. Oh, come on, guys. Seriously? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. To get this boat design, I watched a tutorial by Remiho. I, I don't know if that's how you say their name, but I'll link it in the description. Now, I took the basic design that they had in the video and did some modifications based on the depictions of boats on cycladic frying pan artifacts. Uh, here's a picture of one. Something to note is that these aren't actually frying pans. They just share the shape with our modern cookware. The actual use for them is unknown.
Now, I basically took the highly stylized depictions of boats on the frying pans and looked at contemporary ship designs in the general area. The Egyptians had a design for a ship that was sort of similar, and the depictions of ships on Akrotiri show something closer to the Egyptian designs. Now, Akrotiri is much later than the Neolithic, but with all of those design elements in my head, I came up with this. Now keep in mind that this design is complete fantasy and not based on any hard evidence. Just what I think they would maybe look like. No, 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 no. Sneaking up on me. And with that, the boats are done. Now, if you were eagle-eyed enough during that time-lapse, you would have noticed a few things being a little off with some of the boats. Things like stuff being asymmetrical or missing pieces. I've since gone back off-camera and fixed them a little bit. Now, before we get into the really cool, sweeping, cinematic shots of the settlement, I'd like to go over a few things. Now, by the time this video comes out, the spring semester will have started and my workload will have significantly increased. So with that being said, there might be a slightly longer gap between videos coming out, but I promise to get them out when I can and as soon as possible. As for Domini here, I think I might spend a week or two hanging out with the villagers and, you know, help them grow their populations, maybe tend to some of the finer details and troubleshoot. Just basically fine-tuning what we've built here. In the long run, I think what I've decided to do is make this entire world downloadable when we're all done, and leave coordinates to all the settlements that we've built at spawn, along with a map for you to find them. At each of the settlements, I think I'll put in some of those lecterns with books down at key areas and put some facts and stuff in them so you can read about the areas that they're located at. It'll kind of be like a self-guided tour. On top of all of this, I think I'll put in a couple of hidden secrets near each of the settlements that those of you who are intent on exploring may get a kick out of when you find them. In the meantime, enjoy these cinematic shots of what we've built here. And I really hope you'll stick around for the next build because this, this is just the warm up. And I can't wait to show you what's next.